In this lesson, we are going to change working time and look at our calendar options. Let's change, let's start by changing the working time. If you go into Tools, click on Tools, Change Working Time. Let's look up here to start with for calendar. Let's just keep the standard project calendar as it is out of the three and we will create a new calendar and we will base that on the standard calendar. So we actually always have the original there unharmed and we will just call this main calendar. Make a copy, make sure this button is clicked here and say OK. Now in this main calendar what we're going to do here is we're going to put in exceptions for our time. So as you can see our working time here is we don't work on Sundays and we don't work on Saturdays but we have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday working week and these are the hours that we work. So let's make some changes first. Our project um, is starting on Monday the 26th of September. So the first holiday, first exception to our working day will be Friday the 30th. So I've clicked on this and I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to do September holiday and I'm going to hit tab so I don't actually need to, to you know, sort of choose a date or anything here by choosing a calendar because it automatically goes to what I have actually chosen here. So that's our, our September break done. October, no holidays in October, no November. Now, December, obviously, we have a, a Christmas holiday. This time I'm going to highlight two. I'm going to highlight the 26th and the 27th. I'm going to go down here and put this in as... Christmas hauls. I'm going to hit my tab again and as you can see this time the two dates have come up so it goes from the 26th of December to the 27th. In January we're going to take two days off the second and third so highlight the two down here and these are going to be our New Year hauls and I'm going to tab again and this is going to come in. Um, Nothing in February, nothing in March. In April, we're going to highlight the week this time. We're going to have a spring break. So 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th. Back down here and let's have spring break tab again. And that's our holiday set. We are going to go on and do more, but at the moment I'm going to just click OK to close this to show you what it's like when we open it again. So OK. Let's open it again. So we're going to Tools, Change Working Time. Now please note the standard calendar comes back by default. So let's just choose our main calendar here and our exceptions come back. And what we're going to be looking at this time is our working weeks. So we're going to actually be looking at our working times. So we're going to Work Weeks, we're going to Details, and our working week is going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We're not going to use the default time, so we're going to make, just change these. So let's just set these. So click in here. And now go in here. Now to click in these buttons, it's not actually always easy to click in these buttons. Let's just have a try. As you can see, as I'm clicking in here, my cursor isn't actually in here. So please just persevere until you actually get it looking like this with your cursor inside it. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at 9. So 9 colon 00. zero. Please remember the colon. It's not a full stop. It's not a dot. You must hit the enter key for that to work. Then we'll finish at 12 for lunch, which is OK. And then we will start again at 1300 hours. But this time we are going to finish at 1600 hours. I've just clicked instead of putting it in completely this time, I'm just changing the 7 to a 6. And then I'm going to say OK. Now look, I didn't hit enter, so it's not going to let me do this. Again, you must remember and hit enter. And then OK. I'm going to hit OK again just so that we can go out and go back in so we can see what's happening here. So Tools, Change Working Time. Our project is starting here. OK. And 
Hermine calendar. You can see the times have changed and our exceptions have changed, which is absolutely exactly what we're looking for. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into Tools and Options. And we're going to just make sure this calendar tab here is clicked. And we're going to look at our, our calendar options. We're going to have our, our week starting on Sunday. We're going to keep that. Our fiscal year, we're going to have it just keeping in starting in April. But as you know, our default start time is going to be 9. Our default finish time, 1600 hours, which means that we are going to have a, a six hour working day. So five days a week, six, so it's going to be 30 hours and we're going to keep the days per month as 20. So we're just going to say OK here and that's that bit finished. We're going to stop here.